Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at this forgotten Rubik's puzzle. Now this puzzle was made by Matchbox in 1986. You can see patent pending 1986 Rubik's made in China by Matchbox. Now this is the same Matchbox that also makes the die cast cars to this day. They had distribution rights and they produced different puzzles under the Rubik's brand. Mostly in Europe but they did come to North America as well. Now this 2x2 Magic only consists of 4 tiles. Considerably less than the original Magic and the Master Magic and the Creative Cube, which were all also released by Matchbox. Now all the Magic puzzles aren't too difficult to solve since there is usually only one way to solve them. That's why they were taken out of competition. So the only move you can do on this Magic is just to mix up the mice. You can see it inverts the tiles into different shapes and all it takes is one move to bring them back. You can see that this side depicts three mice on a piece of cheese and the back depicts these little monsters doing different sports. You can see when you mix it up, the back orientation is this way. And then when you do the move, you can see that they all invert. So there's four in a set. So that's the first one we looked at. And the next one I got came in these little plastic sleeves, but that's not originally how they came. I'll flash up a picture on how they came. So originally they were called the Rubik's Magic Picture Game. And when you collect the full set, you'll see what they make. So you can see this one also has mice on it. The back you can see little monsters depicting different instruments. You can see one. We saw the back, they get inverted. The third one depicts more mice eating cheese. The back depicts different dinosaurs. And you can see where this is going. You can see when you collect all four, the last one will complete the picture. You can see that there's different aquatic animals on the back of this one. It will complete the picture, kind of making a collage of sorts of the cheese being eaten by mice. I'm not too sure what countries these sold in. I know they were sold in Germany because this is where I got my full set. And there is English on the package, so I can speculate that they also were sold in North America. But these are extremely hard to get, especially as a set, and even harder to get in the box. I've only ever seen a few sets ever come up online, and I was lucky enough to buy mine off eBay more than a decade ago. Now, just because these are rare doesn't mean they cost too much, but they are an extremely hard item to find. Now, that could be from low production, or I'm guessing they just didn't sell very well. Now, the original Magic was designed by Erner Rubik himself. So I'm guessing these 2x2s two were just a different variant, just like the Master Magic and the Creative Cube. Now the only other Magics that came out in the 2x2 two two style were mostly promotional items for airports, Kellogg's the company that makes the cereal and other things like that. Originally I think they thought about releasing different mosaics, but I don't think this product was too successful and only other promotional items were released. And they're usually sold at the Rubik Studio, which is Erner Rubik's own store in Hungary. Now I'll just pan the camera so you can see him up close. Now you can see the backs don't create any mosaic, so you're not obligated to get each one to create a picture. You can have fun with just the individuals. Now I thought I'd just add this part at the end of the video. You're definitely not obligated to buy original Rubik's 2x2 Magic. You can definitely make your own by just buying a regular 2x4 magic and then you'll get two of the 2x2 puzzles out of it. There's this helpful article on the Twisty Puzzles forum that explains how to string it up and you can put your own pictures inside. It's relatively easy and you can use a bobby pin to help you string it up. Here you can see how the lines go and here you can see at the very end he made some out of wrapping paper which is a pretty good idea. And I've strung up them myself and it's pretty easy and it's a fun puzzle. Now I hope you enjoyed this video about the mini magics and here's some other recommended videos and a subscribe button and as always thanks for watching